Welcome to TMC Newsroom. This is Carl Ford, and I'm going to have some fun here with Kathy Brown, who is the general manager. I've got to, I've got to read this. It says general manager, wireless base station DSP, senior member of technical staff. You've got a lot of titles I'm there, sorry young about lady. That. No, no, it's cool. It, it, it means you've got a lot of uh, good double, en double E engineering background and all this wonderful technology. So let's just let's just go right to it and right. ask you some simple questions first. Okay, so I, we all know who Texas Instruments is, but tell us about the wireless side of Texas Instruments and what you do with the base stations. Very happy to. Good to be here today. And uh, exciting technology we're bringing to this market. We have just announced a new system on chip architecture for communications infrastructure. And what's new about the architecture is it's unlocking multi-core in the base station. And we've had multi-core architectures in the past and we're bringing a new, fresh look with very high performance cores, gigahertz floating point. That's the, the premium piece of this puzzle. Okay, and at the base station, like how many chips are we talking about? Are there like, is this like just a, a are, how do I even talk about this? Are we talking about thousands of chips that we're, we're putting there, hundreds of chips? What's um, the normal? Half what's a the dozen to a dozen in your average base station that you could see out on the show floor today Okay. in the baseband of DSP. Okay, and um, you're agnostic towards the technology, so if it's LTE or WiMAX or CDMA or right. All HSPA. All cellular technologies come hither. Uh, we like chaos, in fact. As, as people can't figure out which ones to deploy, then there's, there's more get, that gets deployed. And that would lend itself yeah. to the multi-core functionality, right? It would, and, if, and to a flexible architecture based on signal processing and DSP. That's cool, right. cool. And... Um, Let's see. We on the LTE side. We're right now at release eight, and you know how all the certification functions are going on, and you're looking forward to LTE Advanced, I guess. Yes, LTE Advanced is exciting with brand new capabilities that we're we're watching carefully, participating in the standards, trying to anticipate how our next generation of chips will leverage those key features. So on release eight, you've got MIMO and that kind of functionality embedded. Okay, so so I got a, a sense of that. Uh, Anything about the, the marketplace you want to talk about in terms of how you see the, the rollouts? Is any one area more interesting, one, one region? Um. Uh, it's, it's interesting the United States may be one of the first uh, since we've lagged in the past, so that's, that's a bit of excitement for us. Um, what we're interested in following carefully is the role of the heterogeneous network, where we've had macro-based stations we're all familiar with. There will also be pico-based stations as the data rates become so high, the cells are forced to shrink. Right. And how this plays out is, is really interesting. So we're working on a scalable solution that will work in the smaller form factor base station and be scaled upwards to the macro or vice versa to save an R&D expense that you'd want to leverage your full capability across this. Right. There, there's, in theory, there's going to be some sort of four to one relationship to what exists in the base stations now and where we're going to end up. And I'm assuming we're going to support things like self-organizing networks and more random control of the network as we go forward. Is that a good yes, assumption? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I don't think anyone's figured out self-organizing networks. And I'm, I'm looking forward to looking through the show floor here today and finding out what every, everyone's thinking. It's an active area of research at Texas Instruments. And it'll keep us all busy. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time, Kathy. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's been fun.